Dirt 5 weather. Relatively mild for us this Wednesday in the southern Colorado area. 60 for the high today in the springs, 64 in Pueblo. It's around 5 to 10 degrees above average for us and hopefully you got a chance to enjoy it because we are tracking big changes tomorrow as a winter storm makes its way into the area. Taking a live look in the springs right now, a few clouds in the distance there to the west of Pikes Peak. That's going to be our next weather maker and in Pueblo we can see those clouds as well. Humidity though now starting to rise into the 20s in both cities, which is good because it was fairly low all day, which created an elevated but not high fire danger. Temperatures right now, low 50s on the quarter, 53 in the springs, 55 in Pueblo. Eastern Plains, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. In our foothills, we are in the low 40s. Now as we take a look at our temperatures across the country, can you see where the cold front is? It's right up here. This big change in temperatures, Rapid City at 40, 53 in the springs, and we're in the 20s right now in Billings. So this is going to make its way toward us overnight. So Thursday is going to be significantly cooler than today. And this big area of low pressure, which has all of this cloud cover associated with it, will be moving in as well. Those features combined give us the chance for snow tomorrow and Friday. So let's hop right over into Futurecast to time things out. Early on Thursday morning, we'll already have moisture all across the state of Colorado. We'll have some light showers on the Front Range Corridor and Eastern Plains early tomorrow into the morning rush hour. We might even hear a few rumbles of thunder on the Eastern Plains where we've got some pretty good instability in place. By the evening commute, that's when we're going to bring in more moisture and we'll see heavier rain and snow showers on the Front Range Corridor. Again, we may hear a few rumbles of thunder as well during the afternoon. This will generally start off as rain. The snow level is going to be about 6,500 feet in the afternoon, so snow in Teller County and Woodland Park and rain for our other areas. That snow level decreases as we head later into the evening, so our biggest impacts are going to be Thursday night to Friday morning. Now, what's changed since yesterday is that we think that there's going to be some drier air that works in earlier than we thought before. So by the middle of the day on Friday, we're going to be bringing in that drier air. That's going to bring snow showers to an end from north to south, from the springs down towards Pueblo, and then finally towards Trinidad. So our southern tier gets the snow for the longest amount of time and therefore the highest totals. I've nudged the totals down just a little bit in the springs and in Pueblo based on the latest data. So now two to five inches is what I'm thinking in the springs, one to three in Pueblo. But we're still looking at a really good amount of snow in our higher train, seven to 11 inches in Woodland Park and quite a bit in our southern mountains as well, where we have winter storm warnings in effect. Winter weather advisories in place for northern El Paso County and for the higher terrain that is not part of the mountains adjacent to the mountains. Lows tonight will drop into the low 30s following that cold front. And as we take a look here at your Super 7 Day forecast, I've still got you at a three out of five storm impact on Friday. That Friday morning commute is going to be the most impacted for this system before we start to warm up and clear out this weekend. Remember to set your clocks forward Saturday night for springing forward on Sunday and we are losing an hour of sleep, but it's a good trade off. 60 degrees for the high and our sunset at 701 PM. Certainly not a bad deal. 60s as we head through the middle of next week in Pueblo. Two out of five storm impact for you tomorrow and on Friday. A few rumbles of thunder in the morning and the evening tomorrow. Big impacts on Friday morning. 60s for you Sunday and Monday up in the upper 60s to start off next week. Canyon City, two out of five storm impacts for you. A few inches of snow expected. It'll be a heavy wet snow, hard to shovel, but not a ton of it. And then in the 60s for us as we start next week, Woodland Park, you've got a four out of five storm impact Friday. We're still looking at potentially more than eight inches of snow for you. Andy. Casey Fear